This is the Soundcore Motion X600. Five amps, two woofers, two tweeters, and an upward firing SkyDriver. And this speaker is high res certified, and that all sounds good on paper, but here's two questions for you. Have you heard of Soundcore before? And is this better value for money than some of those brands that you're more familiar with? Well, you're about to find out. So let me give you a guided tour of the Soundcore X600 speaker, and we'll run through the design choices Anchor have made here first. There are three color options to choose from. There's the Aurora Green, the Luna Blue, and the polar gray. This one here being the lunar blue. The majority of the body is constructed from stainless steel because this is the way. And the grille on the front somewhat resembles Apple's Mac Pro vents. And the carry handle is made from aluminum, which is strong and lightweight. And they've added a nice bit of texture on the underside of it to make sure it doesn't slide around. And they've done a fantastic job of matching the texture of the aluminum and the stainless steel together so they look like the same material. And the top surface is covered in a durable rubber and this wraps over the buttons and around the circular mesh, which is indeed the upward firing spatial Skywood driver. And Anker have made this speaker British weather resistant because it has an official IPX7 water resistance rating. Not only can it resist water, but it also floats. So if you do happen to drop this into shark infested water, you could retrieve it. But good luck with that. If you drop it in a pool or a jacuzzi, it's going to be a bit easier for you. But you get the idea, this thing is not going to drown, it's not going to sink. However, it is important to keep in mind the fact that the X in the IPX rating refers to the fact that it's not resistant to the tiny particles such as fine dust and sand. And I really like how they've rounded the corners here. It just helps soften the look and I appreciate that aesthetic and how the light kind of rolls off it. It's just very pleasing to the eye. Another nice design choice here is the addition of the rubber feet at the base, which will help reduce any unwanted vibrations that could ruin the music. And this also prevents it from sliding around on a more polished, shiny surface. And the center of gravity here on the Motion X600 is good because it has a pretty hefty battery built in that can run for up to 12 hours continuously but of course there are variables that can affect the battery power, like listening to it at 100% continuously, having the bass boost on, and also the spatial audio on full time can drain the battery a bit quicker. But just know this, this weighs in at around 1.9 kilograms, and that kind of makes it a heavyweight when it comes to portable speakers. But the question is, is it a heavy hitter when it comes to sound quality? The buttons on the top surface are nicely tilted towards you so that they're clearly visible even when you're looking at the X600 
from the front and they are backlit too. So if you're partying into the early hours of the morning or late hours of the night, you won't have any problem finding the right buttons to push. Unless you've had a few too many drinks, in which case your hand-eye coordination might be off. And in that scenario, what you could do is use your AI voice assistant on your phone to control the music and the volume. That's assuming you can still string a sentence together. The buttons on the left side of the upward sky driver consist of power, Bluetooth pairing button, spatial audio on and off, and bass up. And on the right side of the driver is the volume up, volume down, and play pause. And the play pause button is multifunctional, so a double tap will skip a track, triple tap to go back. And there's some nice attention to detail here from Soundcore. Let's say the speaker is off and you're trying to switch the speaker on in the dark the buttons won't be backlit because the speaker is off. Well, all of the buttons except for the power button are flush to the surface, but the power button has a nice little groove to it. So if you are feeling around in the dark, you will be able to figure out how to switch it on pretty easily. And if physical buttons are a bit too old school for you, good news is there's a Soundcore app. Now, I'm just gonna say it, the Soundcore app is fantastic in its simplicity. On the home screen, you can control the volume and you can even power down the speaker. But it is the great equalizer that has blown me away. When you go into the equalizer and you go to custom, you have a nine band equalizer to dial in your own sound signature. And you can even save your custom EQs. But here's where it goes next level. If you wanna go real pro with your EQs and tap on the full equalizer, what you'll now have is probably the best implementation of this that I've seen so far. You've got the nine band equalizer just like before, but when you tap on these little dots, it expands the frequency range that you can adjust. And this lets you fine tune in those audio tweaks to make the sound more your own. Honestly, I love this feature. This is brilliant. I wish more speakers and headphone apps would have this. And you've got to love it. And I also love how they've added a way to share the custom EQs that you've created with a QR code. This is truly a well orchestrated effort from Soundcore on this app. And for those of you that watched the channel before, you'll know I like to play around with the EQs and stuff. And I spent quite a good deal of time dialing in some EQs that I'm quite proud of here. So those are on screen right now. The live EQ that I've dialed in here is fantastic for rock music as well. The hip hop one is very bass heavy, takes some of the sharpness off of the hi-hats and stuff like that. Then I've also got one which I've dialed in for dance and EDM tracks. Feel free to try these out as and when you do decide to buy the Soundcore Motion X600. Okay, let's run through some of the connectivity options here on the Motion X600. At the back of the device is a rubber waterproof cover for the USB-C charging port and the analog audio jack input. So if you wanna wire in a record deck or maybe a hi-fi deck or a CD player or something, that option is available to you. And when it comes to audio codecs, Android fans can rejoice because this speaker supports LDAC. Now, if you're not familiar with LDAC, it's currently the best method of streaming high-res audio content to a speaker via Bluetooth. And actually, the bit rate is three times the speed of the usual default codecs that most speakers use. So this speaker can receive 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio signals, which means this speaker has a one-up on a lot of other speakers in this category. But something to keep in mind is the fact that in order to get LDAC to work efficiently, your device needs to be in the close proximity of the speaker. And if you go out of that range, it will default back to the standard codecs, SBC and AAC. And if you're an iPhone owner, don't worry, the X600 will still impress because it does have the AAC codec, which is still the best that Apple have right now. And it is more than capable of delivering a high quality sound to this speaker. And that takes me nicely onto the sound quality. Now, what makes the Soundcore Motion X600 unique is its speaker configuration. It's got two tweeters and two woofers that face the front. And then of course they've got that upward sky driver. And although this isn't a true Dolby Atmos speaker, that upward facing driver does take the sound output to new heights. When you toggle on the spatial audio feature, you can really hear that next level sound coming from this speaker. And this is a really fantastic design, especially if you're gonna place the speaker on the ground at lower angles when listening to it for example, at the park or poolside or anywhere really. And in terms of the sound signature, it's obvious strength is in the high end frequencies. 
it's very clear, very crisp, and this makes instruments and vocals sound very sharp. So you've got to be careful when you're playing around with the EQs because if you go too high on the high ends, it can get a bit too ear piercing. But that's one of the greatest features of the speaker is the fact that you can adjust these aspects of the sound signature if you need to. And when you do dive into the equalizer, you can bring the mid range up a bit as well because by default, the high ends do kind of overpower the mid range. So what I did with a lot of the EQs is adjust it just so that the mids pop a bit more. And when it comes to the low ends, the bass frequencies, I do like bass heavy tracks and the sound core does not disappoint in this area either, especially when you enable the bass up button. I basically just leave that on permanently. But if you're the type of person who doesn't like bass heavy tracks, you might feel the sound signature is a bit more well balanced with it switched off. But what really surprised me about the bass frequencies on the Soundcore Motion X600 is how much headroom Soundcore has left for you to play with when it comes to the EQ. When you expand the full equalizer, you can expand the low ends out into the 48 Hertz frequencies and you can turn the bass up that way. And this is really impressive because most speakers like this only have a frequency response of 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. They cannot deliver such a broad frequency range as this does. And when you turn the bass up to 11, like I've done with some of my EQs, the speaker over delivers in the bass department for a speaker of this size. So when it comes to the sound output of this speaker, you could say that it boom, shakes, shakes the room and that it slaps harder than Will Smith did at the Oscars. So it definitely is easy to recommend this speaker to you guys. There will be an affiliate link below this video with the latest deal so you can pick one of these up. I believe if you get it early, you get a massive discount. So make sure you check out that live link. It will be updated. Keep an eye on that. You never know when you're gonna pick up a good deal. And here's a final thought for you guys. Sound at its core is the movement of air and vibration. And Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And music can of course be inspiring, and inspiration is a guest that does not willingly visit the lazy. Let me know if you know who said that. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching this one. See you in the next one. Don't be late.